With the holidays approaching, that means it's turkey time. That's right now in motion. The Pennsylvania poultry industry ranks ninth in the nation as far as production of birds, and there's around 12 million birds that are produced each year. Mike Hewlett's job is literally talking turkey. He's an associate professor of poultry science here at Penn State. His research looks at environmental effects on incubation, growth, and efficiency in turkeys. He spends most of his time doing extension work improving turkey management around the state. And every year about this time, he gets a lot of questions about the holiday bird. Uh, one of the trends that we see now is going to more antibiotic-free birds. And so we're looking to see what we can do to be able to have as far as either feed ingredients, management styles on which we can be able to raise birds uh, without having antibiotics in the feed. That's, that's a real big movement that we see now and a lot of producers are trying to look to see how they can most effectively do that. As part of his job, Dr. Hewlett stays up to date on changing trends in the field of poultry science and going organic is one of them. Pennsylvania has one of the largest uh, suppliers of organic poultry and also other, other animals uh, in the nation. And uh, part of the reason is we have some uh, particular producers that have feed mills that dedicated to only organic production. Uh, there's also other, other states that produce organic poultry, but you have to have not only the ingredients, the feed ingredients, but you have to have facilities that are approved by Pennsylvania Certified Organic uh, to be able to go into that organic market. Turkeys, like most every other thing that is purchased, will have a portion of its appeal that is based on its cosmetic appearance. As birds were domesticated and began to feed a fledgling industry, looks became more important. One of the complaints that the consumers had was when they would find them would see little black dots on the feather tracks of the birds, which came from the pigment of the feather. And so they looked and saw the birds that they had, and they saw some that have would have a white color to them, and so they preferentially selected those birds. So that when the feather was removed from that carcass, it left a pigment, but it was white. And so because of that, that was more uh, acceptable to the consumer. The, the breeders started to develop a broad-breasted white bird, as we have today. And that's the reason why, commercially, we have all white birds. For In Motion, I'm Kurt Parker.